November is going to be a hefty, hefty month if you're a gamer, bro. Like, seriously. Yo, what's going on guys? We are here for another PlayStation 5 Sony Showcase. We are right on time here. Hopefully we see some nice goodies today. It's your boy Shinjo Static back with y'all again on the TPG channel like normal. Hopefully we get some newer games. Maybe some newer stuff going to be revealed. Uh, some release dates ideally. Some uh, on the PS5 and the PS5 Digital. As well as when pre-orders will officially go live and some pricing as well. All info that would be very nice and warranted to have right now. You feel me? But whatever comes. What's going on, Brian? Appreciate you being here all the same, man. Okay. Let's do this. You better beat your Horizon Zero Dawn before we get this release date on the uh, new Horizon. Uh, what is it? Horizon Forbidden West? I'm actually really curious to see if we're going to actually see anything new announced today. Is that the top banner, dude? Um, let me actually go ahead and take that top banner off so that you guys can see it in full. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. Bam. Okay. No, that's not tied to that. What does he have this tied to on here? Is it this one? Nope. Okay, this looks new-ish. Could this be more of that Square Enix game? You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. This definitely looks do we even know Square the Enix to me. Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Alright, also gonna increase this. I'm gonna make my webcam go away so that yep, I told you I didn't look Square Enix. Let's summon their icon. Oh yeah, this this has gotta be the uh that's Shiva. That's a Shiva summon. That's a freaking Titan summon over there. Any chance this is new Final Fantasy? Our foe will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. Wonder if we this is new this. Final Fantasy. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. I am Joshua Shin. There we go. Okay, now we got the full screen going I'm on there. sworn to protect him. What do you mean you refuse? Look, all hands on, this looks like a Final Fantasy title to me. I mean, okay, come on. The what you call it, jump. Is this Final Fantasy 16? Are we officially on 16? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Well, well let me find out this is, uh, this is related to 15 in some way. And before it's revealed as a Kingdom Hearts, uh, what you call it? <laughs> Do they really mean to invade us? Ooh. Ooh. This is a nice, gritty uh, Final Fantasy here. I may have said this is their new Spider Man game. By the way, front of shoot, I appreciate you on the follow for the TPG channel. We really appreciate that. I say all the time when I'm on here with you guys, let me know if the sound is a little kind of whatever. Don't really worry too much about hearing my voice. I'd rather y'all would hear the audio from the game itself. Look at Ifrit. Look at Ifrit. The Legacy, the legacy of the Crystals. I'm shaped our history. I'm willing. I'm serious. This has to be a Final Fantasy game, bro. Now, is it Final Fantasy 16, though? I'm getting some Final Fantasy 11 vibes. I'm not gonna lie. Like old school, the old school Final Fantasy uh, MMO. I'll kill you. 
last thing I do. Getting some like Fire Emblem mixed in vibes a little bit. Bam! Look at that. Wow. Okay. Okay. My Roman normals are right. That's that's 16, right? Yeah. Final Fantasy 16, PlayStation console exclusive. <laughs> also available on PC. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. I like the setting. I do like the setting. Hey man, to be fair, what you I thought this was I thought that was an expansion for Avengers at first when I first saw it, man. Square Enix kind of like let me believe, you know, hey, it's a possibility. Yeah, man. Biggest thing I want to see today, honestly, I'm, I'm excited for seeing new stuff announced, new games, blah, blah, blah. All cinematic and gameplay footage you're about to see from this point forward in the show has been captured from PlayStation 5 systems. Bet. That's what we like seeing is actual gameplay. But yeah, I, I'm mostly concerned with just seeing give us a release date finally. Oh, bet. Give us a release date and a price. I just want a release date and price. Dang. I'm late for mom's rally. Ah, the Miles Morales jump. I, I really, really wish that this was like a cross-gen game. Because this this is the main jump that's like pulling me to be like, yo, you need to get a PS5 this year. You got the house key? Yeah, I got it. Come on, we're going to be late. Hey, dude, I am so feeling your suit. Is that a... Uh... Wearing your suit? Yeah, you know, just in case. What's his name? Ah, oh, God. See, this Grungy? Was that his friend's name from the comic book? Grungy? Something like that? Food in the, city. Awesome music. the fact that you had Insomniac working on two presumably launch titles for this yeah, for the PS5 cool. like I'm, I'm assuming at the same time is uh just 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 goes to show to me that just tell always tells me like how great of a studio Insomniac is to be able to split their team into to work on this like two at the same time another thing too I heard some rumors people are thinking that we might get a God of War 2 announcement today uh, Corey Barlog, the main guy at the uh, director of the God of War reboot from 2018, has been showing Hi, some cryptic Brian tweets as of late. And uh, so a lot of people are thinking that uh, we might be getting a God of War 2 announcement today. Miles I would welcome it, personally. Our story picks up one year after the events of the first game, and we find Miles' new home, Harlem, is in danger. Harlem! Miles' mom, Rio Morales, leads an election rally. A war between the devious energy corporation, Roxxon, Roxxon? and the underground. Okay. A high-tech criminal army led by the Tinkerer starts to break out. Tinkerer. In this gameplay hmm. sequence, captured on PlayStation 5 hardware. I would not have expected the Tinkerer would have been the main sending villain. Sending the rally into chaos in a fight that spills onto the Braithwaite Bridge, where the underground tries to steal Roxxon's experimental energy source, New Form. Let's so it makes me wonder then, what's the justification for us playing as Miles? I mean, don't get me wrong. You tell me I gotta play as Miles. I'm here for it by all means. But I do wonder from a story standpoint, what happened to Peter? where presumably Peter is not involved in helping at all in this. Oh no, oh, you got beef? What's up? We're after the new form. Ignore Yo, everything not, else. not gonna lie, this kind of gives me Avengers trailer vibes because it's on the bridge or whatever, but, hey. Insomniac is one of those consistent studios. I definitely give you that. They 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 have yet to put out like you know bad stuff. My man with the body, the venom shock. Yes, that bioelectric shock. All right, looking at Tinkerer here. Wanna, are they using abilities from like other villains by any chance? Oh, Miles. Oh snap. Maybe it connects to another villain like Spider-Man did on PS4. Maybe it's a possibility. I'm uh, I'm definitely really interested in the story because the story in the uh, PS4 Spider-Man game, like I can't really say I went in expecting a lot out of it, but it surprised me with how good it ended up being. Okay, nice. We got we got the hood. Very familiar. I have to stop this. Oh man, look at this here. Man, launched everybody up with the bioelectric kinetic. 
I mean, it's, it's very familiar. More the same of what we saw with the other Spider-Man. But, you know, he's got his own unique abilities. So, hey. Oh, he's over the bridge. He's dead. What's going on, Superstar? Why did they not alert me that you were on? I don't know, dear. Might be some of the alerts on the TPG Twitch. We'll have to look at that a little later. Oh, my man got the Scorpion uh, Kunai Jump. Get over here. Actually, that's the Ivy Whip from Soul Calibur. She got the Ivy Whip Sword. Look at him. Going invisible, too? Okay. I'm liking this so far because they're, they're really showing me... They're showing y'all what makes Miles unique. Like, he's not just another Spider-Man. Miles is his own unique Spider-Man. Is this basically Miles' own, like, train <laughs> scene from Spider-Man 2? Oh, my damn. Bruh. Bruh. Ain't no way he can do this. Can he do this on his... What, what, what can you do? My God. Please get out. Please get out. Alright. Thank you, man. Okay. Those people, they're trapped. Yeah, but you can get up there, fam. You got this. I've got an idea. And see, again, I'm not trying to, you know, do no console war stuff or whatever, but I appreciate Sony for doing actual in-engine gameplay footage rather than just a, ideally like a rendered trailer or whatever. That's always appreciated because then it shows like, hey, what you're seeing is what you're actually going to be, be, be playing. Homecoming reference, bro. Not even just Homecoming, bro. You talking Spider-Man 2 back with Toby. <laughs> you gotta pay homage, bro. That's what this all goes back to, is that. Homecoming paid homage to Toby on the train in Spider-Man 2. Ooh, girl, you better hang for a rat. How about I say, that's not... No... Uh... I thought that was Mary Jane for like a split second. Like, that's not her. Be greater. Holiday 2020. See, and again, they have to be coy and keep saying quote-unquote holiday 2020 for these things because they can't show that, you know, until Sony actually announces an actual date, they can't say, oh, hey, yeah, it's coming out November 10th or something else like that. <laughs> I hope this will look as good as my PS2 on composite on my CRT. Man, I hear they got some adapters, some cables for you for that. How convenient too. I'm actually wearing my Spider-Man shirt today. I'm one of my Miles Morales shirts today. Yeah. Warner Brothers games. Ooh, ooh, is this the Harry Potter jump that's been rumored for a minute? Hey, yo, magic. Both beautiful and powerful binds <sighs> together our long history. And I'd, I'd be ignorant if I didn't acknowledge that yes, I know there's some things going on in the Harry Potter related adjacent world right now. We will not get into that fully here on the channel, but we hold on to the good memories that we have from this series as a whole. So we're going to be hella excited here for a nice Harry Potter game that, uh, if this is the rumored MMO Harry Potter game that's been heavily rumored for like a minute, I'm here for it, bruh. Rebel, you just mad because you don't have a Spider-Man shirt on. Every stone in this castle tells the story. Witches and wizards. Late 1800s too, huh? Interesting. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. I'm about to say late 1800s. Okay, what what if I end up? I mean, because obviously I'm gonna choose to be a black wizard. <laughs> you know, in training black students. <laughs> Brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells. There is a large. Oh, I get to go to Hogs. Me too. 
world filled uh -oh. with dangers you can't yet imagine. Is those inferni, I think is what those were called. Long gone from this world. Hey, Mo, this is about to be a full-fledged MMORPG for Harry Potter. I'm here for it, man. Maybe the key to unlocking this dormant power. Okay, you got a Venom shirt, but do you have it on right now? You don't have it on right now. That's the point, Rebel. Oh, he's definitely the bad guy. Look at that. So, late 1800s. If I know my Harry Potter lore, this is uh, obviously way before Voldemort. And this is obviously way before the Fantastic Beast time frame with uh, Grindelwald. The choices you make and I'm assuming this is all going to line up, obviously, with the actual the in-universe stuff, so... Hogwarts. Hogwarts Legacy, okay. Porky Games, though, has usually been like a mobile platform, haven't they? 2021, alright. Yeah, cool. Alright, I'm here for that. I'm here for that. Need a little bit more info. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm here for it, though. Sony's still doing these little, oh, in between each game trailer, we're doing like little snippets and stuff of the, you know, PS5. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Vondrak, creative director at Red ah, Call of Duty. One Here of our go. goals as developers is to bring the game world to life unlike anything you've ever experienced, and the PlayStation 5 is making that happen. With the power of the new console, we've been able to significantly enhance the overall experience. From what you see in the world, how it feels in your hands, to what you hear around you. In Black Ops Cold War, you will be transported to the year 1981, in the middle of one of the most dangerous times the world has ever known, the height of the Cold War. The following is a portion of the first campaign mission where you've been given the name of a high-value target linked to the Iran hostage crisis. But in true Black Ops style, nothing is as it seems. Take nothing a look. Nothing is ever as it seems. I need more, a little more. I'm, I'm excited about the Hogwarts game just because it's Harry Potter. And because the level and scale it looks like it's trying to go for, we have never really gotten a Harry Potter game like that before. But I'm a little ambiv, you know, kind of hold off a little because I just feel like I need a little more detail. I need a little more detail about, like, okay, what exactly is the game? What exactly will we be doing? Et cetera, et cetera. Airfield's just up ahead. Let's go find this shithead. All right, as you guys that probably know on the game on this channel, uh, whew, damn, straight up, I'm not really much of a COD fan, but I admire from afar because you know from a technical standpoint the games always look great, so can never ever deny that. Side. Left side. Strong side. A rush might be in the truck. I can't make out his face yet. I don't want them. The fuck? Damn. He just diced everyone in the truck. Straight up. Hey. It's gotta be a rush. It's the line of work you in, man. That's how it would be. That's our man. Take him out. Sniper rifle. Yeah, I gotta say, detail-wise, graphic this game hey, looks great. Ooh, bullet time? Crap! Of course, of course he missed it. You didn't think it would be that easy, did you? Oh, nice. Interesting. Alright. Now again, I don't play Call of Duty, so I don't all of this is kinda, you know, awing to me. I'm just kinda like, okay, savage.
got my little RC car drone. Oh yeah. Y'all in for it now, buddy. Zip zip, little buddy, zip zip. You can do it. Hey, get that air. Yeah. Can't tell, are they legit trying to stop the RC car? Did they see it? Uh oh. Got it? Yeah. Good job, little buddy. Good job. Yeah, this is the new Call of Duty, bro. This is, uh, what, what, what is it? Black Ops, uh, what are we up to, like, five, four, six now? No, Cold War, Cold War, there it is, Cold War. You look like your arm should have been broken, sir. Yeah, Black Ops Cold War. There you go. Coming again, holiday 2020. Yeah, that's actually, I guess, because they had that exclusive contract. We hope with, you enjoyed uh, that Sony sneak now, peek so at the campaign Activision for Black Ops Cold War. There are many much. more twists and turns along the way as you begin to but unravel same the thing, truth. And again, we can't wait for holiday you to 2020. Soon. In addition to the story quote, campaign, unquote. Cold War features the next generation of multiplayer online combat and an all new awesome zombies experience. Today, I have the special honor to announce on behalf of my friends at Treyarch that the PlayStation community doesn't have to wait to play multiplayer. Starting this Friday, PlayStation players will be able to play the multiplayer alpha exclusively on PlayStation 4. Oh. And for those of you that are watching at home on your PS4, you can preload the experience starting tomorrow. We can't wait to see you online Friday and through the weekend. Enjoy well, the rest of the show. There you go, Rebel. <laughs> there you go. You missed quite a bit of geeking out for Spider-Man, Brian. You missed quite a bit of geeking out. Spider-Man was like super super legit looking like i said at the top of the show the um, spider-man is like the one game that so far that they've announced in like this kind of playstation 5 release window that's like oh man i might have to get a ps5 just to play that game i wouldn't really say i did any screaming of any kind but all right what have we here all clear come on move resident evil Resident Chris? Evil 8. Resident what Evil 8. The hell? Bam. Let's go. I'm here for Take it. Him away. I was hoping we would see some more Resident Evil. I was hoping for it. Yeah. In life and in death, we give glory. The bell tolls Maybe for we'll us all. we'll get a little more coherentness as to what the hell is going again. on in this one. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously a direct sequel to 7, because you have the same player character as uh, Ethan Winters. But we have, like, werewolves yeah. now? Quit being so paranoid. Which is a first. You know what? I can, I can, ago, I can do werewolves as long as it's somehow a biological contaminant-related thing for the werewolves. But the forest I'll be fine them with that. The dark, cold silence. The bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, okay, we the got Tim Burton directing the, the little story from the side. Into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on over vine, under branch. And into the forest deep. Oh. Father Miranda. Okay. Maybe they're not really like werewolves. I mean, they're just monstrous for some reason because they're all using it's weapons and crap and stuff. Y'all like y'all got a nice kitchen. There's a lot of like wine in there. I see. I mean, I'm sure all that wine is not necessarily used for cooking. I will say, I do like the way that they kind of like, quote unquote, hide the number in the title nowadays. Who's this fat schmuck? If it's just looking, window shop away. Okay. Oh, so he's a, he, window shop away. He must be a merchant. Ugh, but he's not, see, he's not the merchant. You know, what are you buying? From RE4. Oh, Deathloop. 
we will transition just right into it. <laughs> I know Deathloop had gotten delayed, I think, from out of this year to next year, I believe. You want out of a time loop? You gotta learn how it works. Looks like they're showing a new area the of the island map. And each visionary is a different piece. Here's Igor. I am a respected scientist. I've done so many loops. I've learned to run circles around him. Cat. Hey, over here. Crap. I'm not gonna lie, my days of playing, my uh, my nights of playing Hades over on my channel have <laughs> kind of like, I feel like perfectly prepped me for this. You learn on each run that you do so that you kind of know what to do and what not to do or how to better, you know, prepare yourself the next time you go in. Bitch, <laughs> hit him with the Spartan kit. I've <laughs> taking my targets out one by one more than I can remember, but there is never enough time. I go after one, Another if your name is not Igor, that's very right true. Now, half an island away, a different visionary is throwing his nightly cannibal masquerade. Nightly cannibal Alexis masquerade? Doors. Okay. Everybody shut up! This is my jam. Igor is a big fan, yet somehow he never makes it to the party. Something keeps him home. Cold? You there, buddy? Here's the invite to the party. And here's why Igor blew it off. He made some kind of scientific breakthrough that morning. Of course he did. I did it! I did it! It works! Dweeb. That he makes every morning. Unless I get there first. Oh. It's a weird way to reload a weapon. No experiment. No breakthrough. No reason for Igor not to drink his disappointment with Alexis. Now I got a shot at killing them both at the same time. In the same loop. At the same damn time. Two birds, one song. Ha ha! I said the thing. Hey, Wolf! It's time to hunt pig! I, don't lie. I, I like this little match that they got on. I'm getting like Bioshock vibes from this too, to be honest with you. Like big Bioshock uh, one vibes a little bit, yeah. Ooh. Got my answer that curb stomp. Eight targets on no my list. Every one of them with grand plans for eternal life. To break the loop, I gotta break the rules. Clock's ticking. I really like the aesthetic of this game. Ever since it got announced uh, about a year or so ago, I, I really have liked the aesthetic of it. I'm not like those other idiots. Only got one name on my list. Yo, it's you. Yeah, this this game is definitely on my list. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, it was originally supposed to come out this year, I believe, and then they ended up pushing it to uh, to next year. This game is definitely on my list, but see, you got that little asterisk at the bottom of the screen, also available on PC. See, now I'm kind of like, hmm, probably going to end up getting it on PC. Most time these days, especially if it's a first-person shooter, if it's, it's going to be available on PC, I'm going to end up getting it on PC, rather than end up playing it on console. Yeah, I feel very targeted, very, very attacked by that lady as well, yeah. Capcom. Oh, this is that newer Capcom IP, probably. That day, the one with the guy in the spacesuit on the moon, maybe. Would our fates be different? Actually, no. It's Devil May Cry Five. Life? Okay. Devil May Cry Five remaster. You a demon? Special edition for PS Five. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Only reason I'm not unface camming for this is because it's Devil May Cry 5, guys. We, we, we The game's been out for, what, almost two years now, so we kind of know what goes on with Devil May Cry 5, right? Looks great, don't get me wrong. Look at my boy Virgil. Oh, spoilers if you didn't play DMC 5. Yeah, Virgil. <laughs> Summoning using that Yamato! Rest. 
rest in peace. I'm actually trying to figure out, do I know this song? This sounds like a song that I would listen to on the regular on Spotify. I've actually been toying with like going back and getting this game on PC to replay it too. Available digitally at launch on PS5. When is the launch though, Sony? Hmm. Capcom's like, yeah, we gotta leave that up to Sony for to announce that launch part. So, uh, <laughs> about that launch date. <laughs> All right, that was a nice little. I'm, I'm gonna call that like a brief intermission, so to speak, because we, like I said, DMC5 is not a new game at all been known about it. So we got some more information for Oddworld coming up here. I got this one. Okay. Did those fugitive morons burn down their own hideout? It sounds idiotic, but that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Bad guama for burning down my farm. <laughs> Mr. Al Capone alien. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director of Oddworld Soulstorm. We're excited to bring you an all-new exclusive trailer from the game. Here, our unlikely hero, to make Abe, odd world finds game. himself fresh off the back of freeing his people from the nefarious Rupture Farms. He thinks the journey is over, but soon discovers it has only just begun. The stakes are higher, the threats are larger, the obstacles are more devious, and it's all made possible by the power of PlayStation 5. Enjoy. I actually forget, was this announced as a PS5 exclusive? I think it was. Ouch. That looks kind of painful. Oh, they did. Letting that ape guy get away from us again. You might not have a choice. Abe's gonna do what Abe do, bro. The new lemmings, yeah. Oh. Wait here. Hey, why the hold up? I could go for a sandwich right well, now. We gotta get out of here. Come on, meat for the grinder. My tummy's growling. I, I'm Stop. hungry. I, I was kind of expecting that something was about to happen to that group of them for, for like a split moment there. I thought some catastrophic thing was about to happen. You've been showing me them getting killed like this whole time so far, so I kind of, uh, yeah. Thought y'all was about to, you know, uh, something. They're not dumb. They're just hungry. They need Gregory, brain food. Your friends are worried about you. I don't like the sound of this. Please come out. Hmm. Maybe Gregory, I want to stay hidden. I may have lost my temper earlier. Oh no. But it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that in the corner? It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? Hey, Mo, is what, what in the Five Nights what at Freddy's vibe? Oh my god, is this really Five Nights? Oh my god! Bro, wait a minute! It was just a quick Yo, get the heck out! I think she's found us. Who, us? Who's us? Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Five Nights at Freddy's security breach. Oh my god. Like an actual Five Nights at Freddy's game powered by PlayStation 5. Presumably PC too. But like... Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. Look. Nietzsche or Hort... No. You saw that little clown thing up in like the corner that was like showing up like up in here-ish or whatever crawling? That was enough for me. I was good on that. <laughs> 
big old expansive environment that looks like you're probably gonna get chased around it. Oh, we got a first party game coming up, guys. Uh, Dark Souls remake. Uh, I mean, Demon Souls. Demon Souls remake. Yeah, Blue Point Games. Yeah, this is the Demon Souls remake. <laughs> Said a big note for you, Superstar. Yeah, this, that's gonna be a game I'm not gonna play. <laughs> I'll I'll wait until I watch like Mark or Jack or somebody play it. <laughs> yeah, definitely Demon Souls remake. Yeah, we say remake, right? Not remaster, because remake implies they because they remade the whole game from the ground up here. This will be great for those people that have played uh, Dark Souls and Bloodborne and the like that maybe probably honestly missed out on Demon Souls when it first came out. Now you guys get to really see uh, essentially the grand pattern <laughs> of the soul of the Souls genre, pretty much at this point. <laughs> This game walked so that Dark Souls and the rest of them and the like could fly, pretty much. Yeah, that's what I was just saying in front of you. Yeah, the Demon Souls essentially started the whole shebang there. Am I gonna grind it? Ah, it depends, man. It depends. Just but the flesh wound. Oh. Yeah, he was talking all that good stuff. That was a little weird clipping there, but, you know, hey. With the sword in his gut. Alright, not liking this. It's 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 lulling into a false sense of, yeah. Look at me, one hit killing all these enemies and such and stuff. Mm -mm. Don't y'all dare play. Try to play this game going into it thinking that that's gonna be the case. Don't y'all dare. Don't you dare. So, yeah, no, no, no. They have this turned up just for the trailer. He's about to go to like some boss that's like completely OP as hell and get completely freaking wrecked. Because these are enemies that like normally when you're playing, you'll probably have to take like a good few hits before you actually get them down. I mean, honestly. <laughs> Front of you, you're going to play with the Guitar Hero controller. More power to you. More power to you. Look at that. See? Look at this. It's like a freaking extra from freaking Doom. Yeah, it is this long little tentacle nipple thing. That's the weak point. Oh god, you had to show the spider. It had to be a spider, huh? Oh, look at that. They're first showing up twice in one game. In one, one showing, I should say. A spider throwing out flame jizz everywhere. Ew. You don't want. No want at all. I, shall await thy return. I don't really mind spiders, Brian. I'm not like definitely afraid of them or anything like that. But if I can avoid them, I would much rather do that. Video game spiders, especially because due to artistic liberty, <laughs> man. Like, to this day, as old as it is, I still have not forgiven Bethesda and Skyrim for making spiders like some of like, the first enemies you face in that damn game. Because <laughs> when you see how huge those freaking, how freaking huge those things were, it's like, bruh, come on, really? Alright, what we got here? Oh, Fortnite, whatever. Oh yeah, PS5 Fortnite Edition with ray tracing and all that stuff. I mean, more power to those that play Fortnite. It's not my personal cup of tea, but um, hey, 
it's the most popular game in the world at this point still, right? So, hey, like I said, more power to you on that. Not gonna lie though, when Fortnite does their little crossover events and stuff, it does kind of make me want to be like, ooh, maybe I should play just for that, like the Marvel event that's been going on. Kind of want to get those different Marvel skins. I was like, what's the point? Because I'm not really playing it. New PlayStation Plus benefit for PlayStation 5. Can you kill something that big? Let me see. Okay, we got some older games here. Let me find out if Sony's about to announce their own version of like a Xbox Game Pass thing. But see, the only thing about it, because a lot of people say that they My need an Xbox Cole. Game Pass thing to compete with Microsoft. Unless Sony really, really is able to work with like, I don't know, Steam or something, or some, they, they need a PC compatible version uh, of something to make this, make, really make that type of thing compatible. But that, that's where this is looks like it's leaning towards. Like their new or own version of like some type of Game Pass. Thing. Yeah, I never really got to draw Fortnite either, Brian. It's just like, I guess, because, more or less because of the, uh, it was the building aspect. Like, I don't mind Battle Royales, but yeah, the building aspect in Fortnite just is kind of what really kind of threw me off a bit personally. So are these going to basically be the games? Enjoy selection of generation defining PS4 games. Access. Okay, so these are the games that are basically backwards compatible on, that you'll be able to play on the PS5. Okay. <clears throat> the PlayStation Plus collection. So is, that's technically kind of like their backwards compatibility thing. Because I know that they did say like, hey, at launch at least there was only going to be certain games really available for PS5 that coming from PS4. So, yeah. Yeah, I've had a lot of friends telling me that Persona 5 was really good. I actually uh, recently purchased uh, Persona 5 Royale to play. Um, don't know when I'm going to play it, because I'm going to play it on my specific cha Twitch channel, but uh, I'm eventually going to get around to it. Yeah, I've got to figure if front she's some type of uh, virtual emulation. Some, something like that. Okay, yes, yes, yes. What the console looks like. Y'all showing the console, like showing the back and behind of it and all that. Does this mean y'all are actually gonna show me a release date and the price finally? Or show some different colors? Like, hey, it comes in black too. Probably not. Prices? Prices? There we go. 500 and 400, just like, okay. And a lot of, that was pretty much what a lot of people predicted. November 12th, November 19th, rest of the world. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and everybody. So we got our prices and our release dates. So now you know. Thank you all for joining us today and for being part of this amazing journey. It's your passion as fans of gaming that drives us to deliver a truly new generation of experiences on I gotta PS5. Lie, this is about to be the end of the show. This From is actually a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. We appreciate your continued support. And we look forward to you getting your hands on PS5 very soon. Think about Close. it, man. You're going to have a new Wi-Fi router. One more quick You're going to have a new refrigerator. You're going to have a, 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 a new speaker. All right. One more quick look. There's snow. Come on. Come on. If I hear boy, if I hear I'm close to you. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> There's your geek out, Brian. There's your geek out. <laughs> Let's go! You must prepare yourself. Boy. 
Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yes, indeed it is. <laughs> 2021. <coughs> oh. 2021. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, guess who's definitely getting a PS5? At least next year. If I don't get it this year for Spider-Man, I'm getting one for God of War Ragnarok, God of War 2, whatever the hell they're calling it. I'm getting one next year for that. Made you live long with perseverance hold on a stand Never back down with my back against the wall. Yeah, there's gonna have to be a like a God of War PS5 edition for that first party game. It's gotta be. So, what, this? what was that, Genshin Impact? That wasn't shown. They got some stuff kind of shown here where it's like, look, we didn't give a dedicated trailer to it, but here's some kind of like afterthought type of stuff, so to speak. And I'm kind of like, okay, I guess. So... I will say, um, one thing I was surprised about, uh, no further, uh, trailer or, like, release date time frame for the Horizon Zero Dawn sequel. I was kind of surprised about that. I thought we would have at least gotten, like, another trailer with a, uh, like a release window in it. Um... I mean, I kind of figured that that game was probably at least a, still like a year or two out, though. But again, I thought that they would at least like confirm, oh, hey, it's late 2021, early 2022, or something like that. <laughs> you had to go watch his reaction for God of War. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said at the top of the show, while we were watching the Spider-Man bit in the show, uh, I was talking about, I was like, hey man, there's some rumors that there might be a God of War 2 thing shown, because Corey Barlog's been posting some stuff on his Twitter account as of late, so let's see what happens, and sure enough, there we freaking go. There we go. Alright, that looks to be the end of the show, folks. Although I'm sure they're probably going to like do like a repeat or some crap like that or whatever. But, um, yeah, it, it, it actually, like I said, it lasted a lot shorter than I honestly thought it would. Uh, I was expecting it would probably at least go on for, like, the full hour, but they didn't even do that. But, you know, they came in, talked about what they they needed to talk about, and just kind of, hey, here's the price, here's the release date. So now we officially know PS5 Digital Edition, 400 bucks. PS5 with the disc drive, 500 bucks. Um... What did it say? November 12th for release in certain territories, including the U.S., and November 19th in the rest of the world. Um, I actually forget. Does that mean that they have... Are they beating Microsoft to market? Let me see. What was the Xbox release date? November 10th. Okay, so Microsoft is doing this on November 10th for the X and the S, and then PlayStation is two days later. So what is that, a Wednesday and a Friday, I think? Tuesday and a Thursday. Wow, man. That's going to be interesting. This is going to be some hard decisions by people to make during that week.